thousand welcomes to each and all, but especially to you, my good Lord Cardinal, the peacemaker, for blessed are the peacemakers on earth. Our duties and our loves attend on you. Sirs, my heart doth joy that you may witness here the business to which we bend today. What business, my lord? Nay, stand and mark the here comes Suffolk with its execution. My gracious liege, behold this lady well, and judge if Suffolk did not speak her true. Here in the sight of England and her peers, I do deliver up the Lady Margaret, the happiest gift that ever Earl did give, the fairest queen that ever King received. Surprise. Welcome. Queen Margaret. I can express no kinder sign of love than this kind. Lord, that lends me life, that lend me a heart replete with thankfulness. For thou hast given me, in this beauteous face, a world of earthly blessings to my soul. If sympathy of love unite our thoughts. Great King of England, and my gracious Lord, the mutual confluence that my mind hath had by day, by night, waking and in my dreams, in courtly company, or at my beads, with you, my old aliefest sovereign, makes me the bolder to salute my king in ruder terms, such as my wit affords, and over joy of heart doth minister. Her sight did ravish, yet her grace and speech, her words clad with wisdom's majesty, makes me from wandering fall to weeping joy. Such is the fullness of my heart's content. Lords, with one cheerful voice, welcome my love. Long live Queen Margaret, England's happiness. Long live Queen Margaret, England's happiness. England's happiness. We thank you all. Uh, my Lord Protector, will you please your grace to all scan these articles of marriage contracted by me on the King's behalf between His Highness and the French King Charles? Imprimis, it is agreed between the French King Charles and William de la Pole, Earl of Suffolk, Ambassador for Henry, King of England, that the said Henry shall espouse the Lady Margaret, daughter Anto Rainier, King of Naples, Sicilia and Jerusalem, and crown her Queen of England. Item that the Duchess of Anjou and the County of Maine shall be released and delivered to the King her father. Uncle Hannah. Pardon me, gracious lord, some sudden qualm hath struck me at the heart and dimmed mine eyes that I may read no further. Uncle of Winchester, I pray, read on. Item the Duchess of Anjou and Maine shall be released and delivered over to the King her father. And she sent over of the King of England's own proper cost and charges without having any dowry. Say, shall we ratify these articles? They please us well. Lord Marquis, kneel down. We here create thee, the first Duke of Suffolk. Thanks, dear Grace. Now nothing lacks that our hearts be knit with all the holy rites of blessed wedlock. And when we are conjoined, that our sweet knot be all as strong and indissoluble as that which binds our loyal and loving council. Set on, my lords, and mark our ceremonies. <laughs> 